I love how people who think that everyone is out to get them and everything is a huge evil conspiracy claims that many things that have been tested hundreds upon hundreds of times by qualified doctors and scientists over many years and it is public is often referred to as mainstream and by their mainstream version, their version of mainstream, it is bad or completely biased. I also love that for many years people still believe these quacks who have been exposed time and time again. They have always been exposed as nothing but fraud, tax quacks, and liars. Trying to either scam people out of their money, scare people, which is also another scam to scam people out of their money, or they are just too gullible in what they uh, perceive and everything, and they don't even have the qualifications or credentials to even make the assertions that they are claiming, based on no real evidence or just outdated facts. This is Andrew Wakefield. He's a former British surgeon and medical researcher. Back in 1998, he made a research paper on the MMR vaccine and its link between autism, mumps, measles, and other illnesses. But like I was saying before about how people will just believe anything, it's no wonder that Andrew Wakefield's uh, journal bombed in publication, and no scientist truly ever touched on it, really. Here's a little fun fact on a journal of his. Over 10 of the authors and even the publisher of his journal that Andrew Wakefield, which many conspiracy theories based their uh, anti-vaccinations and uh, how vaccinations are dangerous on, they have appeared to retract their work. That's right, the people who helped make Andrew Wakefield's research paper backed out on it. They now say that it is complete bullshit. Says something, doesn't it? Oh, also Wakefield's own scientists couldn't replicate uh, his own experiments. Wakefield also manipulated his data to ensure that the children who were sick uh, before getting the vaccine were reported as being sick after. He flat out changed results he didn't like or didn't completely agree with, all while performing needless, painful tests on children. If you're wondering why Andrew Wakefield did this, well, there was his patent for a new MMR vaccine that Wakefield filled out before he published his paper. And the money he funded from a legal aid fund that was trying to sue vaccine manufacturers, it's almost as if he had a massive financial stake in scaring people into believing that the MMR vaccine was dangerous. Links to nearly everything that I've stated in this video and more is in the description box below.